the numbers that we call Arabic numbers in the West are Indian numbers, and the Arabs get them from the Indians. We get them from the Arabs, which is why we call them Arabic numbers, but uh, the, their original, their place of origin is India. At a time when in Europe you're still getting long multiplication with MC VVX V1 times MC VV V1. Just my uh, head in, just thinking about it. The Indians have got 10 symbols, one of which is zero, which makes it all much easier. And they've got decimal place value and uh, tens, hundred thousand, tens of thousands, and all this sort of stuff. And those ideas spread first to the Arab world. The, uh, the, by a stroke of luck, the first viziers in Baghdad are former Buddhists who are Sanskrit literate and know all this stuff. Mm. Uh, and these guys, who they're a family called the Barma Kids, send a mission to Sindh. And in 776, the Sindh Raja, who wants peace with this enormous, very fierce empire, sends the works of Brahma Gupta, who's this early Indian uh, mathematician. Uh, it seems to be a sort of compilation of two of his books, which the Arabs call the Sindh Hin. And uh, this becomes the basis for Islamic maths and astronomy. It's simplified and clarified by a genius called al